What's going on guys? Alex from Day 14 EDC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the QSP Knives Hedgehog. Now this specific version with about 10 other versions um, is a traditional pocket knives or TPK uh, exclusive. Um, this is part of the, I think this is part of the Apex Pass Around group um, and I am finally ready to do my full review for you guys. Uh, and I'll start right off the bat by saying this is an excellent value for a slip joint, the materials you're getting, the fit and finish, uh, QSP killed it. Uh, I had heard a lot of really good things about the Hedgehog line, even as a budget um, slip joint, you know, with their budget models coming in, I believe with 14C28N, um, and they have just gotten more and more popular, and TPK did a run of, like I said, I think uh, 10 of them. I'll read all of them off to you guys before we dive into specs and stuff on this. Um, but this specific version is the Gecko Camo Carbon. You guys can see it has ripples of yellow and blue and black and green and gray. It looks really good. Um, not probably the Camo Carbon that I would choose for myself personally if I was going to go out and purchase one of these. But it does look really cool and I'm glad I got to experience it because I had never really heard of Gecko Camo, Car camo Carbon. Um, but yeah, it just looks really good, especially the way the light hits it. Uh, and everything like that but i will leave a link to the um, hedgehog page on tpk uh, on their website and i believe all of them are currently in stock right now uh, some of them might be getting lower in stock because these have been out for a couple of months i think by now um, i'm a little bit late to get you know getting to check it out um, but yeah so i will leave a link in the description down below if you guys are interested in going to check them out but like I said, before we get into specs and specifics on this knife, uh, I'm going to tell you guys all the different versions of the Camo Carbon. Um, but before that, they do have a gray um, jig tie, uh, jig titanium version. Uh, so basically a plain tie with the jigging pattern on it, which is a really, really good deal too. And it's the same price as the Camo Carbon ones, which is I think is a really, really good deal. Um, so that's on there. Um, now for Camo Carbon, there is the Gecko, like this one. There is the Halloween night one, which looks like it has orange and white um, kind of speckled in. It looks really good. You have the uh, 90s Camo Carbon, which looks like it's red and blue um, and white, kind of like Nebula. You have the Miami Vice, which is pink and blue, obviously. Uh, you have Milky Way, which looks like it's kind of brown and white. You have the Pacific Blue, which is obviously a shade of blue. You have the Chill Vibes, which is blue and white. Um, you have the Purple Cow, which is looks to me like it's Purple Haze. Um, maybe, okay, so maybe Purple Cow is similar to Purple Haze Fat Carbon, uh, considering this is Camo Carbon. Um, and 90s might be Nebula Fat Carbon, uh, but 90s is Camo Carbon. So I'm not really 100% familiar with them. Um, you have the 80s Camo Carbon, which is like green and blue and pink. Uh, then you have the fluorescent pink, which is pink, obviously. And then you have the dragon's eye, which is white, blue, pink, so on and so forth. Um, it's hard for me to explain everything to you guys on here. So if you guys are interested in checking out the whole entire hedgehog line from TPK, go down below and check it out. Um, it'll bring up every hedgehog they have in stock, and you guys can see um, what I am talking about. But let's jump into some specs here. Get the page pulled up and then we're going to go right into the review um, with the first category of value and materials do, 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 do. all right so you guys can see right away it has a sheep's foot blade nice pull on both sides um, comes in with a beautiful hollow grind uh, real nice and thin behind the edge great slicer uh, qsp logo on the blade as well as the pivot right there uh, i really wish they would have not put on the blade because you already have it on the pivot it's kind of overkill right there and i like the way they do their pivots i think it's classy with the triangle and i really like that uh, you have two bolster lines right there nice transition to the camo carbon with two body screws you have the lanyard hole on this side you have m390 um, same thing to um lines right there on the bolster and then the camo carbon uh, it's identical on both sides so a pretty easy to look at design i think uh, but we'll talk about that later um, so closed length 
is coming in at 3.75 inches, open length of 6.2, or excuse me, 6.625 uh, with a 0.5 inches, um, handle length 3.75, uh, handle height 0.85, of course it's an M390 sheep's foot like I said, um, blade length is coming in at 2.875, so just under 3 inches, it is a hollow grind satin blade um, on copper washers, double-sided oval, double-sided long oval thumbnail, which is the fuller right there. Uh, according to the website, the pull strength is a seven. Uh, and I can, I would give it maybe a little bit lower than that. However, it is a very good pull. Uh, it has a half stop like this. Uh, the bolsters are B Blast Titanium. Um, and this is coming in at 2.5 ounces. So this thing is super duper lightweight. Um, that's one thing that I really picked up about it and how, you know, kind of drew me in right away for one of my first uh, sort of observations about it was how lightweight and comfortable it is. Um, so everything you get, M390, hollow grind, uh, nice walk and talk, really, really cool camo carbon, nice bolsters. Um, I got to give that a five, an easy five, actually. Um, really no complaints at all there. Um, so next up is aesthetic. And like I said, I think this is a very easy to look at design. It's very simple. You pretty much have a straight line from here the whole way back to about here. Then it tapers off. Um, and while you do have a curvature right here, it's pretty straight from the tip to the, or excuse me, the tip to the butt of the knife. Um, you know, beautiful camo carbon. I love sheep's foot style blades. Uh, it just flows nice and it looks really good. So I'm going to give that a five too. Uh, another easy five in my opinion. Just a really, really nice looking knife. Easy looking design. Um, very usable, but very, very simple, clean, usable, but very sort of elegant. And, you know, it just has, has nice body lines. Uh, it really does. Uh, so next up is the action. Now, this is the first slip joint that I have reviewed since I started doing my new review system. Um... So I'm going to try to, you know, I'm basically just going to act like it, I do it for every, you know, knife uh, when I do my locking knives. Um, so according to the website, it said the pull was at a 7 out of 10. Uh, and I don't really, I don't know if I agree with that. I think it might be a little bit lower than a 7. Uh, I would give it maybe a, six, a five and a half or a 6. It's still really good, uh, but I feel like the Jack Wolf Venom Jack that I have is more of a seven ish or so it you know it has a little bit better of a spring a little bit stronger of a spring and all around just a better walk and talk but you're paying basically double the price for the venom jack than you are this for the most part um it's pretty damn close um but for the money i mean walk and talk open half stop fully open you guys can see um you know the spring is pretty tight uh, i mean if you get your thumb the whole way out here yeah sure you can push it a little bit when you're doing put through push cuts or whatever you need, um, but close, half stop, open. I mean, it's very satisfying. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan, like, okay, let, let me rephrase that. I really enjoy slip joints. I, I like them for what they are and I enjoy handling them, but they're not a knife that I'm gonna go out and collect every single one of. I only have one in the collection and that is the Venom Jack. Um, and that'll probably be the only one in the collection for, you know, the foreseeable future, just cause I, I like them, but I just don't, I don't know. Although this is a very compelling case to get another one because these are, these are really excellently made. Uh, and the walk and talk, the action is, is very, very good. Um, spring tension could be a little bit better, maybe a little bit smoother. Uh, so I'm going to go a 4.5. Uh, it's pretty close to being a five, but like I said, just maybe, maybe another, half of a pull would be a little bit better and a little bit maybe smooth. Uh, although this is a pass around knife, so it could be, you know, needed to clean and everything like that. But I think a 4.5 is very fair. Uh, next up is acoustics. You guys can hear when it closes. It's very dull. And that's because I think the camo carbon sort of dulls it up. Uh, it's not a titanium. You're not going to get like super high pitched tings or rings or anything like that. Um, but slip joints have their own satisfying sort of sound to them. Um, so I'm going to give it a 3.5. That's kind of where I'm going to fall on a lot of um, 
knives that have good walk and or not walk and talk, but good acoustics, but they're not great. They definitely could be better. However, they are not the um, worst that I've ever handled or felt. So 3.5 on the acoustics. Uh, next up is Ergos. This is going to get a five. I mean, like I already said, such a clean and simple and elegant and usable design. Usable is a good term for it too, um, which is translating well into the Ergo department. Uh, I can get all four fingers on this knife. Um, you can kind of use this area to choke up if you really wanted to, um, but it's a slip joint. You're not going to be really doing like like you're doing very, very simple tasks, I feel like, with a slip joint. You're opening mail. You're opening an Amazon package. You're, you know, maybe cutting around a label. Like, you're not taking this out and going out and beating on it. So uh, I really don't think you would need to choke up. However, it is there available if you need to or want to. Um, but just your simple grip on here, I can get all four fingers on there very, very comfortably. Uh, the Camo Carbon has a little bit of a contour to it. It has a little bit of a roundness, um, but there's no sharp edges. Uh, no jimping or anything like that. No hot spots. So again, you don't have a, I mean, obviously you don't have a pocket clip, so that's taken out of the equation, but it just melts into your hand. The way it curves a little bit, you just feel it right in there. Your hand, it fills your hand very well. Your thumb can either land right here or you can land in the middle of the blade. Or if you really want to, if you have big hands, you can land the whole way up here, basically on the tip uh, of the blade for push cuts or, you know, anything like that. Uh, a favorite grip of mine is the pinch grip. You guys know I like to uh, use it quite a bit in my cuts, but thumb on one pivot, middle finger on the other pivot, and pointer finger out on the blade for controlling it. Um, and this is a fantastic blade shape for that. You have such a low tip, drops down, slices through, again, Amazon packages, opening letters, um, any other type of mail, you know, simple tasks like that. This thing just does it so well. But when you need to do it, when you need to slice through maybe pieces of cardboard, you have that really fine, thin edge of that hollow grind M390 blade, and it's just going to slice through things super well. And uh, your Ergos are definitely helping that as well. Uh, you know, Easy Five. I've said Easy Fives, and I think the Fives, like I said, have been you know very, very well learned. This thing is uh, just a great slip joint. I'm, you know, it really is. Um, but next up is Carry. Now, this knife did not come with a sheath. Um, it was not, you know, it didn't have a sheath when I got it in the mail. If I were to buy one of these, I would definitely buy a sheath for it. Um, so that, you know, that's kind of a bummer. However, I'm not going to let that affect the way I carried it. Um, I carry this in my, just my dream, dream, my jean pocket. I drop it down into my left pocket by my wallet, chapstick, things like that. I carry my primary folder on my right side in my, obviously, clip to my pocket. Um... Around the house, I threw it in gym shorts. I put it in sweatpants. Um, it just kind of lived in there. And it carried really well. It's a very lightweight knife. Again, 2.5 ounces is a featherweight in the knife world today. Um, now, it's not like the most slimmest profile because, of course, you have that big sheep's foot blade um, sticking up out of there. So it's not going to, like, seat itself into the blade. And obviously, you need to have the fuller sticking out so you can access, you know, the, to pull it out. Um, but for how lightweight it is, and you know the way it just disappears in your pocket uh you know another five uh, again i think the the weight of this is really going to surprise people um it definitely you know i knew it was not a big knife i knew it was on the smaller side and it wasn't going to be heavy but again when i first picked it up and i was playing with it i was like man this thing is just it's like there's nothing to it it feels really really good and solid but there's not a whole lot of weight to it and i really really like that and that really amplifies you know, the, the ease of carryability for, uh, the hedgehog. So again, easy, easy five. Uh, lastly is price point and value slash what I recommend this knife. Guys, I can recommend this knife easily to you guys. Super, super easily. I think I'm going to go out on a limb and say this. I think that this is one of the best slip joint values on the market right now. Um, I mean, I just listed off like nine different versions of camo carbon to you guys. Um, you can get the full tie jigged version of this for the same price. Um, so I, from a value, I think it's fantastic. Uh, now price point on these are coming in at $145, which I believe you can use someone's code. I, like, I think uh, Duty's Daggers has a code for TPK. I think Lefty has a code for TPK. Uh, I've not bought a whole lot from them. Uh, so I'm not you know as familiar with it as I am per se, like for White Mountain Knives. Um, but if you can use someone's 10% off code, and get that down into the 130s, that's an even better value. But as it stands right now, full price, 145 bucks for this, 
I don't think you can beat that. You know, especially when you're getting exclusive camo carbon versions, M390, again, that deep hollow grind, uh, just a great design, lightweight, great ergonomically, great for carrying, you know, in a plethora of different ways. Um, I just don't know how, you know, how you can beat that. Uh, again, I love my Jack Wolf. I know Jack Wolf is probably the premier slip joint, um, the, the premier slip joint brand, I would say, is as popular as they are, as, as fast as their drops sell out. I would have to say that they're basically, the, you know, the cream of the crop for slip joints nowadays, uh, you know, for the last year or so. But I think that this version right here of the Hedgehog uh, and any camo carbon you get, or even the Jig Tie, that's a very, very close second. And it possibly is a better value than the Jack Wolf because you're getting essentially the same materials for, again, half of the price tag um so that's getting an easy five for me i mean that's like a new saying for me easy five easy five easy five um but a value on this i think is just really really good and like i said i think it if it's not the best slip joint value in the market it is definitely top two or top three um it's very very good so uh, let me count up the score here and i'll get back to you guys in a second so one two three four five all righty so i have the tpk exclusive qsp hedgehog get a nice little thumbnail for you guys i always try to get my thumbnails on my knives in my videos but i always like put them up too fast and move them around and i can't get a good one um but i have the hedgehog coming in at a 33 which lands it in the fantastic category for me uh, two points off of being a perfect knife per se, uh, and I think that is very, very, you know, well worth it. It, it deserves the score it got, um, and who knows, maybe the jig tie version has better acoustics, which is basically the lowest category on basically every one of my reviews so far. Uh, it tends to have the lowest number, uh, just because I'm so picky with the acoustics, um, but I think that 3.5 could definitely be helped with the uh, full tie version. And, uh, you know, who knows, maybe with different, I think every model could be a little bit different. I think, I don't think every single spring has, you know, they all have great actions and they have great pulls, but I think I'm convinced that um, every, you know, every knife is just a little bit different. Uh, so, but yeah, 33, well-deserved for the QSP Hedgehog. And uh, yeah, that was my full review of the QSP Hedgehog, a TPK exclusive in the Gecko Camo Carbon. Um, huge shout out to the Apex Pass Iron Group for loaning this around. I'm glad I got to check out one of these finally. And uh, let me know down below. Did you guys pick up one of these in the exclusive camo carbon? Are you, you know, do you have one of the old, uh, not old, but older micarta versions, sort of the budget versions? Uh, do you have the jig tie? Let me know. You guys always know. I love to hear what you guys have to say. I try to respond to all the comments. I try to at least heart all the comments. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to wrap this up now, but thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, day, night, whenever you're watching this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.